All right, I'm about to erase this whiteboard, so I just thought I'd go over what I had written on it first. So this is how you would model a rotary engine, kind of, or the combustion chamber of a rotary engine. So basically it consists of two circles and how you make those, first you start off with this blue circle and then you make that whatever you want it to be. That can be whatever diameter, I just made 10. And then, so you need these two blue circles to start off with. These are the first things you do. So you go to the center of this circle, you know that the diameter is 10. So you know the radius of this circle is five, this big blue circle. Then you come to this little blue circle and then the diameter of this little blue circle is half of the diameter of this big blue circle. So then you know that the diameter of this one is 2.5. So you come to here, from these two points is 7.5 inches. And then what you do is you find half of the diameter of this little blue circle, and you know that that is 1.25 inches because it's half of two, so 6.25 inches. You draw a line straight from here to the center of this little blue circle, 6.5 inches, which is this red line right here. And then what you do is you draw a point right here in the middle of this big blue circle and since you know that the half of the diameter of this little blue circle is 2.5 what you do is you draw a line going straight up from the center of this big blue circle to be 2.5 inches that's what these little red lines are here and then you get a point right here and right here so you do one point on the top or going up and going down from the center of that circle. And then you draw a line going from here to here, and that is seven. So basically it's just a triangle, and then you can find the hypotenuse of that triangle, and that gives you the diameter of the bigger circle. Well, the two circles that actually make up the epitrochoid of the combustion chamber. So then that comes out to be seven or 14 inches because two times seven is 14, and that's the radius of the one of the big circles. And so basically how you draw the two bigger circles is you go to these two points, and then if you're in CAD, you can just use the circle command, and then you, so you click here once, and then you click here, and then that's, you're done. You, you just make this big circle. And then you do that again right here, and then you can cut in the middle. Otherwise, if you're doing it by hand, what I do is I just get a compass, and then I put it one of the points right here, and then one of the points right here, and then I just draw the circle, and then I do the bottom one, and then they'll, they'll automatically meet whichever method you do, because they're the same size circles, so that doesn't really matter. And then here are equations to make me look smarter, even though they're like the most basic equations that you can possibly have. Uh, and yeah, th so this is kind of like the method of making an epitrochoid, but like a lot simpler than modeling it, I guess. So if you have any questions on this, put them in the comments and then I'll try to help answer them. All right, so the reason that I was doing this is because I want to build the rotary engine like completely from scratch. So that's why I needed to find out how to design this. And then that was kind of the hardest part, but it was also like, like once you think about it, it's actually like pretty simple because yeah, I'm not really sure why it's simple. It just kind of made sense to me, even though I suck at math. So then I just made that. So yeah. But then I was doing it because I want to make one, but then I don't have the resources to make one right now. So then I'm just kind of waiting until I do have the resources that I'm actually going to make one. But I have it like mostly modeled out right now. The other problem is like you need to, because it's like kind of your own complete design, all the stuff is like weird. So then you need to model your own carburetors or make your own carburetors and cooling system and like everything. All of that stuff sounds harder than it, well, like you would think it's harder than it actually is. It's actually all kind of simple because it doesn't need to really like be exact to actually run, but yeah, that's how you do that though.